Okay, welcome back. This is part 15 of my complete file upload site tutorial series. And in the last video, we started our actual PHP scripting for our register page. Uh, and we've, we've run a couple of different checks. Uh, and we've connected to our database. And, and I was cut short a little bit last, last video. Uh, because for non-partners, the, the time limit is 10 minutes. Uh, so I have to keep my videos below 10 minutes until I become a partner, which hopefully I will be soon. Um, anyway, uh, for uh, I was discussing the, the numrows uh, function. And what the numrow function does is it's going to get the number of rows that are returned from running our query. So our query, it's either going to return a 0 or a 1. It's going to return a 1 if the username is already found, which means the username is taken. And it's going to return a 0 if the username is not found, which means it's not taken. So if we put in an if statement, so we say if dollar sign num rows equals equals zero. So if no usernames are found with the username that is uh, supplied, I'm going to say else, and then we're just going to echo that username is taken, and then our form. So just like that. And get rid of this extra line. And I'm going to copy and paste the entire thing from our query to the end of our if statement, or our else of our if statement. And I'm going to paste it inside of here, inside of our if statement right here, inside of this one. And I'm going to make it so, you might, you may not want to do this, so uh, what it's going to do is it's going to run a, another check, and it's going to make sure that the username, uh, the, or the email is not found in the database. So only your email, someone's email can only be tied to one account uh, in the entire database. So, alright, so right here we're going to change this to email, and we're going to change this to email, and we're going to change this to email. So this is the only thing you have to change, and what it's going to do is uh, it's going to run another check, and it's going to make sure that the email is not taken. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually generate our random code value. Now if you remember, if I go to structure, and I might need to type in my password again, I do. So if we click on our structure tab at the top of our, uh, of PHP my admin, you can see our structure of our table, and you can see our, uh, our structure here, yeah. So our active, this is going to be, if you, well, if you remember in, uh, I don't remember what video it was, but in one of my other videos when we first created the table, uh, when we were creating our login, uh, we put these in, and we filled them in later. It wasn't when we created the table, I don't believe. Uh, but we have active and key. Now our active is going to store a 0 or a 1. It's going to store a 0 if the current user, if whoever, whatever user you're looking at, if their username is not active, so if they haven't confirmed their email, uh, the active will be set to zero. But if they have confirmed the email, the active will be set to one. And then in our login page, once we're done with our registration, we're going to adjust our login page. And what it's going to do is it's going to check to make sure that the user is active before it logs them in. And our key value is going to be unique to each user, or almost every user. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to have a random value of 25 characters and we're going to have an activate page and we're going to send an email confirmation uh, using our PHP script and our email confirmation is going to have this key code and uh, when you once they click the uh, uh, register button it's going to automatically generate an email and it's going to send it to their account their email account and then they have to confirm their email so that's what these two values are for. So first of all, we need to generate our uh, our code or our uh, key value. So we need to generate this value. Now to do this, I'm going to create two variables uh, to start. And the first variable is going to be called char set. Now this uh, can be anything you want it to be. Uh, and I'm just going to have it as uh, the entire alphabet upper and lowercase and then numbers so I'm gonna pause the video while I type them in okay so I'm back uh, so all I did was I typed in the alphabet once in uppercase and then I typed it in again in lowercase and then I just added the ten numbers for zero through nine uh, and what this is gonna do what we're gonna do with our char set variable is we're gonna create a loop and we're going to loop through 
for the uh, length, which we're going to create another variable called length, and this is just going to be a number, which currently in my database I have my uh, the key length set to 25 characters. So that's going to be the length of mine. Now, you want, you can set this to really whatever you would like, um, but 25 is, is optimal because it's too long for someone to guess and yeah, it's just it just makes it so people can't really guess on it. So in here, we're gonna have a, a four each, or just a four, sorry, four, a four uh, for loop. And uh, in our for loop, we're gonna have uh, a couple of things. First thing we're gonna have is we're gonna have a variable, and I'm just gonna call it i. So our variable called i, and we're gonna set it to zero. Then we're gonna put a semicolon. Now we're gonna say dollar sign i is less than or equal to our dollar sign length. So if our i variable is uh, less than or equal to our length, which is 25 right now, uh, then we're going to run through, we're going to do all this code inside of here. And then we're going to put a semicolon right there, and we're going to say dollar sign i plus plus. So every time we loop through using this loop, we're going to increment the i variable, so we're going to add 1 to it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another variable inside of here. We're going to call it rand. And this is going to be a random value, so rand, just like that. And the minimum, you can see right here, Dreammover has its little pop-up thing. And the minimum number is going, or the minimum, um, yeah, the minimum number is going to be, um, what is it? I forget. Hang on. Or, uh, uh oh, oh, that's, I'm sorry. We don't have, we don't fill anything in here. Um, and then you put a percent sign. Now, percent signs in most programming languages, um, I know it's true for Java, uh, just standard Java, uh, and I believe it's also true for C++, and it's definitely true for um, PHP, is the percent sign stands for modulus, and essentially what modulus does is if you take two numbers and you divide them, you have a remainder. Now, your remainder is likely going to be set to zero, uh, if you're dividing equal numbers, like if you divide 10 by 5, your your uh, your remainder will be 0 because your answer will be 2. Uh, and I probably confused you. It's a little bit confusing. I, if really, actually, if you if you want to learn about modulus, uh, just Google search it. Or uh, well, no, don't Bing or Yahoo. Those suck. Google all the way. Um, so right here, you want to say str len. So we want the max length of our random value to be the length of our char set. So we're going to say str len, and then our dollar sign char set. So really what this does, it's just going to create a random value that is between the length of 0 and between 0 and the length of this entire thing. So it's going to be a number within here, and then within that number we can select the value uh, that's at that position. So it's, it's a little bit confusing, but I'll demonstrate in a moment. Um, and then we have a, a TMP value, or a temporary value, which generally TMP stands for temporary. Um, and then right here, we're going to say uh, sub str, or substring. We use the substring function. And the string, the str, we're going to be searching through, and we're going to grab a substring from it. And what a substring is, is it, it grabs a, a single value from a string and our string that we're going to be grabbing a value from is our char set and the start is going to be our dollar sign rand so it's going to be our random variable and the length is going to be one so it's going to randomly what this is going to do is our rand variable is going to run through here grab a random number and then our tmp value is going to go through here it's going to use the substring function and it's going to grab the value at the position that the rand variable uh, generates so yeah, and then we're going to have another variable called key, and this is going to be dot equals, so period equals. It means we're going to append onto our key, and this is our dollar sign TMP, so our temporary value. So right here, if I simply just echo the dollar sign key, our key variable, so key, if I just echo out the key, and if I just do something real quick, so if I... Uh, if I just put in random that at period and then a random password, click register, you see this is our 25 character 
randomly generated um, code. And if I refresh, you can see it's different every time. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will, uh, we will continue on with our user registration, and we will finish our user registration. So check out the next video.